Hey, this is Andy from Aquatic Images. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of scratches on your dome ports, coming up. So uh, this is the scratch that I'm gonna be trying to remove today. Uh, this is of an iClight 8 inch uh, DL dome. I've been meaning to do this video for a while actually, but luckily I haven't had a, a, a scratch, which is uh, obviously a good thing. I'm not entirely sure how I got this one, <laughs> to be honest. I've been uh, I've been out a lot lately. I've been um, doing a lot of free diving and snorkeling and scuba diving. So I guess it may have happened in uh, in transport somewhere, or maybe I I knocked it off on something. But anyway, it's a fairly big scratch, but I should be able to remove it. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. All right. So step one, we're going to be using this little product here. This is um, the products that we're going to be using for the whole video. It's uh, called uh, Novus. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to be pronouncing it, but there's basically three of them. So this is the plastic clean and shine. So this is basically just to clean the surface before you start working on it. Um, then we have another one, which is for fine scratches. Uh, and then we have a third one for heavier scratches. I'm going to be show you, showing you how to do this, how I do it. But if you do end up buying these things, I'll add a link to it in the description below. Uh, there are instructions on the back on how to do all this stuff. You can find, you can find stuff online as well. Um, so it's, it's not rocket science, but let's give it a go. So we're going to be starting with number one which was this one, right? Now, when you buy these products, they come with these um, kind of rags, I guess. And uh, I've been using these for years. So I, I, I used it more on my older camera. So I've had my current setup for well, for two, two and a half years or so. This is the first time I, I, I need to use it. First time I've had a scratch, uh, but I did have a few of my older one. So I've, I, think I've, I think I've owned this for uh, six, seven years I've had this stuff. And I bought the big bottles. You probably don't need the big bottles. These are the uh, 237 milligram bottles. You could probably do do with the smaller ones because I haven't I haven't gotten very far into these in that many years. So unless you're constantly scratching your dome, I think you're fine. Before I start with this, one thing I should say is that this will work on all types of domes. Like um, this will work on anything that is acrylic. But if you have a glass dome there's no point in trying this because it won't work. So it needs to be acrylic. So if you're not sure what kind of dome you have, just go uh, read about it, go check that out first, make sure you get the right one. Right, so what we're gonna do first is just clean the dome off so that is so we can start working on it. So we're just gonna add a little bit of this on top and just clean that off. And I'm just doing the whole dome. We're just gonna be working on a small part of it, but just cleaning up the whole dome here. All right, that doesn't look too too shabby. Now, when you have a, if you have just a small scratch, then I would just go with the number two. That's all you gotta do. You gotta clean it off with the first one and then you just gotta, gotta start working with the number two. But if you have a heavy scratch, we're gonna start with the number three. So the scratch, you can't really see it, I guess, here. It's uh, it's down on the side here. See it there. So um, we're just going to be applying some of this stuff here. That's actually a bit too much, but that's okay. And then, uh, like I said, I've I've used these for a while, so they look a bit well used. Um, but what we're going to do is that the um, scratch is this way, runs along here. So we wanna be using this, rubbing it against the uh, against the scratch. I'm just gonna turn this around a little bit so it's easier for me to work. So we're just gonna start here and just very gently rub this in. So 
So uh, after doing that, just for a couple of minutes, I'm just going to take a quick look here and see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. So we've we've started we've started to get some some results here. So then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and clean it again with number one. Now while I'm when I'm rubbing it like this, it's important to point out that um, I'm not doing it very hard. You you want to go very gentle because if you do it too hard, you can actually this stuff can actually create little micro scratches in your dome, and you and you you don't want that. Yeah, so just a couple of just a couple of minutes here. We've kind of we've kind of gotten gotten most of it away. Actually, it was a little bit easier than I expected. Sorry, I was going to make a long video. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's just make sure that we get everything here. Uh, and just for the sake of uh, education, so what you normally want to do is you want to start with the number three. And you want to clean it off, and then you want to go over it with the number two. So we're going to do that. Although I can literally hardly see the scratch now. Yeah, there's kind of, it's hard to see on the screen, but there's a little bit. Okay, so we got some of that number two stuff on there. So we're just going to do the same thing. Just gently work that into the... Uh, into the scratches there. I'll turn it around again. And you really only need a tiny bit of this stuff. Again, I put too much. That's okay. Okay, so we've gone over with number two again. We want to clean it off. Okay, so there you go, all done. Uh, like I said, this was kind of uh, a little bit easier than I thought it would be because uh, I've taken longer in the past removing removing these kinds of uh, of marks. So I don't know if iCloud improved on their newer dome ports or whatever they did. Anyways, I hope that was useful to you. And uh, yeah, if you do get scratches with your acrylic dome, Please just go and buy this stuff. It's cheap and it'll just save you a lot of, uh, you know, you won't get any issues with scratches in your in your shots. Um, super, super easy product to use. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Please hit that like button to help out the channel a bit. I appreciate that. And please also make sure that you're subscribed for more underwater video content. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.